owning an RV is like an endless cycle of crap going wrong. This week so far, we've had the toilet start to drip, the sink came apart down below and flooded underneath there in the kitchen, and now we got a, a leak on the window. Our veing is so much fun. We're sitting here on the couch and you can see that we have the reflectix on the window over there. We had it on this window too, however, sorry, I'm trying out our new gimbal as well. Um, we had it on this window, however, I heard something dripping because it is, well, as you can see through the window, absolutely raining outside. And so I pulled the reflectix off and found a leak right there. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fix it while it's raining. You can see that gap right in there. And it looks like the inner frame and the window frame have actually separated from each other. Yeah. So when it dries out and it stops, oops, sorry, it's out of focus. When it dries out and it stops raining, we'll have to see what we uh, can do with that. I'm going to try to pull the two together right now, but we'll see what it does. Did it close up that gap there? Or? Oh yeah. Did it? Yep. Nice. So, we'll see what that does. Stay tuned to uh, part two of how to fix your leaky RV window. <laughs> do you mind? I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> so, last night we had more rainstorms and after tightening this up right here, it did not leak but I still decided that I'm gonna knock it and seal it and then uh, check some more of the other windows as well. All right, so you might be able to see a little shadow right there. And that is where it was leaking in last night. So as you can see, the top of this window is not sealed at all. This caulking that I'm using is 100% silicone. Some of the great benefits of using 100% silicone caulking is that it's waterproof. This specific caulking is rain ready within 30 minutes. And as you're pulling your trailer down the road, this caulking is going to flex with all the expansion, contraction, and vibration. After I sealed the top and the sides of each window, made sure that all the gaps were filled, I then went around to all the trim and the different vents like the refrigerator vents and made sure that all of those were sealed as well. 